Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching us from in any part of the world. Welcome to this channel one more time. This is your boy Tolex Images. As usual, as we always bring new content to you, today we are going to be talking about the amazing power of liquify in Photoshop. Before we forge ahead, I want to give kudos to my photographer friend of mine, Reflex Image, who took these shots. You can check him out on Instagram, on YouTube, Reflex Image, and do well to subscribe to his channels. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well, Tolex Image, if you enjoy this video, and so as for YouTube to be able to re recommend it to others. Thanks for watching. Let's dive into the business of today. Okay, so if you want to use the power of liquify, you go to your filter and you find liquify here. Meanwhile, let's wait for it to load. Okay, so it's going to bring you another interface. Mine is set to be on the bl blot tool and yours can be on the forward warp tool. It will give you the same kind of results. Okay, so for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm going to be remaining with the blot tool. Okay, so let me zoom in so that you can see the face of our model very well and what we are going to be doing. So the way this eyes looks now if i feel like i don't like it and i want it probably i feel it's too wide and i want it to be a kind of smaller all i need to do is just to come here increase or decrease the left eye eye so it's going to affect this left eye so if i'm going to do this right eye as well i'm going to come here onto this right hand side so let's make some little adjustment to this okay okay so let me leave it at 22 and the right eye as well you can see okay, let me go back and see so you can see you can see you can see so well, i'm going to remain with 22 okay so you go to the right hand eye as well so when you, you can see this as well ensure they are on the same amount so so let me go to 22 here as well okay let me just enter 22 okay so i think i love the way the eye is now so the same thing with the height of the eyes so you come here i'm waiting okay okay like this minus 10 okay i'm okay with this minus 10 i move over to this side as well minus 10 okay so by the time you begin to explore this you see that it can do a whole lot of you know amazing work for you when you come to the nose aspect of it as well you find this if i feel the nose is just too short okay let me let me stick with 67 i think i love it this way and the nose width okay let me stick with 100 when you come to the mouth part of it if i want to make it, you can see smile is written here so if i want to make our model smile a little bit it's, this is where you are going to affect that you can see it seems as if she's she's she wants to smile yeah so and if you look at the lips if i feel the lower lips is too big i can just reduce that a bit lower lips you can see the way i have reduced my lower lips okay so the forehead as well jaw line you can just come to the jaw line and you know just do little little adjustment to this but ensure you don't overdo it in order not to change the total look of that person so and if you begin to explore this it's you will realize that you can do a whole lot of beautiful work with it from you know giving your model a little bit of hips if it's someone that does not have any hips at all you can just add a little bit of hips to read and waist you know the boobs as well so when you begin to explore this on your own you'll find it very amazing if at all this video has been helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching bye